welcome to an episode today in this video we're going to begin um a small maybe small playthrough of the stanley parable ultra deluxe edition or ultra deluxe basically so i did a video on this but i didn't buy it day one because i was i'm i you know i didn't <laughs> So uh, I've I've bought it uh, I bought it today and it's taken about six hours to install so about seven hours to install it's only four gigabytes but I have really slow internet if you guys already know that uh, I need to put my phone on charge so let me go and do that real quick before I carry on the recording Fuck. I had to bend down to like grab my charger okay. Okay, so it says here, have you played the Stanley Parable before? Now, a lot of YouTubers... Now, okay, so let me quickly explain this. So, yes, I have played the Stanley Parable before. I have it on the Epic Games launch, but I'm going to say no just to see what the game kind of does. So we're going to say no. Please adjust the slide until the computer is barely visible. All right, there we go. Let me move a bit closer, because... Please enter the current time. The current time is 10.39 at night, so... 20, okay, so 10, 10, 39, oh, 10, 39, well, no, 10, 40 now, actually, it's 10, 40 p.m., Ex okay, you can all be changed, apparently, that's great, all right, <laughs> let me move up a bit so I can get closer to the microphone and not be as far away from my monitor as I was sat. I'm really comfortable, I'm sat comfortable, I don't know why. It's like... <clears throat> and there we go. Yeah, so you might notice, if you look at down at the little monitor there, you can yeah. kind of see that all my settings are in there. Alright, let's begin the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, there we go. The end is never the end, is never the end, the end is never the end. Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, but the end is loading never. Is it never loading? Ooh. <laughs> I've been so excited for this game, holy fuck. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Okay. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every <laughs> month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. Mm -hmm. And Stanley was happy. God, it just reminds me of work when I look at that. <laughs> and then one day, something very peculiar happened. The Stanley something Parable. Something would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He what had is been that? at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Ooh. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. God Never damn in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Well, Stanley was locked. Frozen solid. Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. So this is one of the games. Oh god, the sensitivity is really slow. That if I didn't move, would kind of react to that. So all right, I need to quickly change my sensitivity. Holy crap! Um, where? How do I change? Oh, controls? No, nope, not controls. How do I change my sensitivity? Camera sensitivity. Let's change it to seven. That's a bit there. Uh, I'll change to eight actually. It's a bit. I don't know why the sensitivity is slow. It's a bit. A lot of people did say that apparently the con console sensitivity is slow. There we go. All of his co-workers were gone. What actually, that is a bit too. That's a bit fast. I'll I'll keep it seven. What could it mean? I'll put it to seven. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Can I? No matter how hard the... Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. How do I get? Oh. 
Yeah, can you still go out the window? You can still go out the window. <laughs> I such an old Stanley Parable thing. Right, let's go. Let's go do one of the endings I always do when I play this game, and that is the collab ending, as I call it. Uh, the one I did in the Stanley rec room video. Came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Yep. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Mm-hmm. That's what I want to ah, do. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It is. It's really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Is that supposed to be the time that I wrote down it's rock? No, it's not, because that's saying it's 20 past... That's saying it's 20 past 11. Yes. Really, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Open door on the left? Nope, we're taking this way, baby. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in uh, do not do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift one thousand dollars. Penalty for jumping Five grand. So if you jump to your death, you've got to pay a five thousand dollar reduce. Okay. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Do you? I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you forgot. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? <laughs> Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yep. Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Okay. Now listen carefully, this is important. Mm -hmm. Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> got a trophy, you can't jump. <laughs> yeah, because you got that in his achievement. Oh, get your first trophy. Oh, this game <laughs> is class. Stanley walked through the red door. Yeah, I walked through the blue door. I still don't think we're communicating Fuck. properly. Stanley walked <sighs> through the red door. Guess I've got to walk through the red door. Get jinxed, bitch. Yep, we're going through the blue door. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop. I do. You see? There's nothing here. Ah, uh, develop textures. It feels like work. I can't. I work in 9 to 5. Even though I don't work 9 to 5, I've been rooms, off. Exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining it's also the not entire story yeah, I had written out specifically for you? I don't remember you. how long I worked for. You don't think I put a lot of time into that, because I did. All right, so and in the end, it was all for nothing, because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You could do with vehicles and skill trees. So I like skill trees. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark. At a I really hope this game has a platinum. Back. I've currently got five platinum go. trophies. This third option. This already feels Ooh. leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Okay. Wall one point. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Oh, it's the sauce. Yeah, because this game is made in sauce, isn't it? It's the sauce sound effects when you walk. Yep, it's going to be a one. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's not even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. If you're wondering what I was doing, sorry, I was just getting a can of Coke. Well, Dr. Pepper. The Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. Uh, apparently these aren't real players, these are just... Okay, where are we on this leaderboard? Oh, okay, oh! 
Okay, yes. Um, of course, we're at the bottom of the leaderboard. How long does it take you to get to the correct door? Compete against other players to improve your Stanley Parable career. Ooh, that's a lot of things done. Well, that's the world in total. Don't think that's true. I'm not entirely sure if that's real or right. Twen Do you know 21% of players skip the intro sequence? Only the, th only the worst three players percent uh, chose the blue door. Okay. How long did it take you to... Okay. Um, it's kind of taking... That's kind of taking a shot at the... Like, at people like uh, like Ubisoft and all that who are like, Oh, well, here's a, here's a leaderboard. Let's see if your friends can get further. It's like a game sh shit anyway. We don't want to play it. It's like play with your friends and try and beat them. Would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Did it? Yeah, it did, did, yeah, it did, it did, it did. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You All wouldn't right. mind taking a look at it, would you? No, let's playtest it. Let me boot it up. <laughs> yep. All right. Now, apparently, this isn't supposed to be Minecraft. In this game, oh the baby wait, okay, left never mind. This is the this danger. is the baby thing. You right. click the button to move him back to the right. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. It's a baby. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of The baby isn't life. hiding his I baby nipple. Why am I talking about really baby's nipples? Nervous. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't <laughs> okay. you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Apparently, if you play it for bang on four hours, it does nothing. It just pisses you off. Burn, baby, burn! Burn! You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Both, to be honest. The latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think well, I can't say I hate babies. That's a bit weird. That would be great. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. Oh, did we... It's over. Yes. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. No oh, problem, hey, narrator. Since my game was so awful. Why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Okay. Let's see. What do we have here? <laughs> yes. Who? This seems like it'll work. Who is the voice actor? I'm so con I'm so curious. Like, now apparently this isn't supposed to be Minecraft and Paul. Apparently they've changed it, so we'll see. Oh, it isn't. Uh -huh. Oh, it's it's That's Firewatch. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? Yeah, well, it's What's Firewatch. Oh, God, it's what the S's. Hmm. What's that say? Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you. Something high in your pattern, perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Is there a way to like focus? Yeah, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience who of total who? mental depravity. Something so fire watches the fire watch. This game, Stanley, and it seems well, fire watch, so. Come, let's venture outward. I think, is it, is out it? I think it's called fire watch, yeah. Oh, okay, that was the Minecraft door sound effects. Oh, Firewatch. I've played Firewatch before. It's a great game. It took me a bit of time to learn, but... No, 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 it can't be. What? Don't you like this game? Oh, I get my fr my frames are dropping. It's an open world game. <gasps> God, quickly block it off. <laughs> he doesn't like you can do whatever you want. Thank goodness, Stanley, what a close call. Bro, my computer could probably run this game better than my PS4 that can. Thing, that big open, just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any. Oh, oh thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, let's hold them all. Get us out of here. Let's find another. I want to explore. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable. I want to explore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think this will be just the thing. Okay, we're going into the next one, I guess. Yeah, my, my frames dropped a lot there. Oh my god. <laughs> See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Oh, Rocket just a League. Nice big box for you to run around in. There I play Rocket League on stream. Lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. 
All right, let's try and get lost in this game then. Okay, Gosh, so what Rocket exactly League is a great game. Here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. Yay! We should run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Oh, God. Oh, the speed's been increased. So, okay, I still can't jump. So, I can't... Okay, boom. I'm terrible at... Well, not saying that. I used to be really good. I used to be pretty good at Rocket League. Not like pro, but I was okay at Rocket League. Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? I'm is winning. Is it better than my miserable little story that I worked so hard on? <laughs> it actually Stanley, is. <laughs> and I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls one sec, makes I, for an even uh, more euphoric sports experience. I, I thought I suck I at Rocket League already, and I Here suck even more. Ball. I was terrible at sports, yes. hence why I can't keep oh, it. Oh, it really oh, God. does feel amazing, doesn't it? Stan, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I simply have to have more. I'm insatiable. Okay. More balls! More balls! Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of balls. <sighs> Too many balls. <sighs> I haven't seen this many balls in, since Tana Mojo's vagina. <sighs> Can't say that. <sighs> Are you enjoying this, Stan? <sighs> Are you having fun? Is this a real video? <sighs> Well, I sure hope you're having a good time. <sighs> guess what? It's over. That's no, the balls. This is my game, and what I say goes. You get to have fun when I let you, Stanley. Besides, you need someone. Hold on. What are you doing? You made me narrator. I choose when I have fun. I, Stanley, am myself. I am a person. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. Yep. You don't deserve the Stanley. Oh, okay. Well, there's nothing in this room anyway, so... <laughs> um, I'm lost. Um, how the hell do I leave this... Oh. Oh. Oh god. Oh. Oh, this is this is creepy. Oh, I didn't know. I forgot. I didn't think the Stanley. I for, oh god. I forgot that the Stanley Parable. Stanley Parable is slightly a horror game. It's not a horror game, but it has a creepy aesthetic to it. Forty-seven. Oh, it's my office, but remade. Kind of. Cool. Can I do anything? <laughs> do I have to go back? <laughs> oh. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. I know and I am. And the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone I do need will wrap you. everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. Okay. I can wait. Okay. Are we just going to wait now? Okay. Oh, it's loading the end is never the end is never the end. <laughs> I want to find a bucket. That's what I do want to do. Is I want to find a bucket. Apparently there's buckets in this game. Okay. I guess we can end the video. Alrighty. Well, um, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.